Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ginger. Our channel is called Just Ginger. Today we're gonna do an episode of In the Kitchen with Just Ginger and Jason. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited for this one. We're doing yet another recipe out of the unofficial Disney Parks cookbook written by Ashley Kraft. And what we're gonna do today are the Bengal beef skewers. These can be found over in Adventureland in uh, Disneyland. I know that for sure. I don't know about Magic Kingdom, but you can find these in Disneyland at the Bengal barbecue. They have like veggie ones, they have chicken ones. The only one that's in the book here is the Bengal beef skewers. So we're gonna go ahead and measure that stuff out and we'll be back shortly. Okay, so it says in a medium saucepan, you wanna add your teriyaki sauce, which is a half a cup, and then a half cup of soy sauce. I have my assistant here doing all the work. A third a cup of rice vinegar, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, See, you notice Jason steps in when it comes to a lot of measuring of stuff because I would mess it up. Okay, and one tablespoon of minced fresh ginger. And then we're going to need uh, a third a cup of light brown sugar. And then we're gonna put this on the oven, or well not the oven, but the stove, and we are going to bring it to a boil, stirring often. And then in a small bowl, we're gonna to mix together some water and some cornstarch. It's three tablespoons of each. I guess they call that a slurry. Allow sauce to cool for about 20 minutes. Pour half of the salt into a shallow dish with the meat. Yes. Okay. Do I take it off the heat now? Okay. So in this little bowl right here, cup, we have three tablespoons of flour, not flour, cornstarch and three tablespoons of cold water. And then you put it in there and I think it's supposed to act as a thickener. Mm. Allow sauce to cool for about 20 minutes. And we let it cool for 20 minutes and we put half in that little thing. Mm -hmm. And then we put half in a covered dish for mm -hmm. tomorrow. Okay, so we've let the mixture cool down for 20 minutes, and we've also put half the mixture in a container that we're gonna save for tomorrow when we uh, barbecue these, all right? And just pour it over, and you're supposed to cover it and let it sit overnight. And that looks yummy. Okay, you guys, so it's been 24 hours, or roughly there, since we uh, started marinating this beef right here. Um, we've got our skewers. They've been, I'm sorry, they've been soaking in water for about 30 minutes. The husband's outside starting the grill. So I'm gonna take the time and now put the beef on the skewers. God, it smells divine. All right, so we just start fading it through. Team effort. Anyway, we're gonna go wash our hands now and then we will we, Jason, will go put these out on the grill. How long do you cook these? Oh, so I think it's eight, eight to 10 minutes. All right, and now we're gonna add some of the sauce that we had left over from last night. Make them nice ooey and gooey. Try it. 
How is it? I could do that again. <laughs> All right, so mm -hmm. it's my turn. Wait, hold on, let me do it this way. My mm -hmm. God, those are good. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I think um, when you go to Disneyland, in Adventureland, there's the, uh, what is it called again? The Bengal Barbecue. The Bengal Barbecue, and this is the Bengal Beef. Um, totally worth it. Totally worth it. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. You guys remember, whatever you do, do it safely so you can come back to me. And by all means, um, remember to be kind, okay? Have the courage to be kind. Ta-ta for now.